Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 Advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and join, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called Bank Account Summary Part 2 and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 20th video of the series called Bank Account Summary Part 2 and if I look at the companies this question has been asked is that Uber kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called users with two different columns account and name account is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table each row of this table contains the account number of each user in the bank there will be no two users having the same name in the table we are also given a second table called transactions with four different columns transaction id account amount and transaction earned transaction id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table each row of this table contains all changes made to all accounts amount is positive if the user received money and negative if they transferred money. All accounts start with a balance of zero. We are asked to write a solution to report the name and balance of users with a balance higher than 10,000. The balance of an account is equal to the sum of the amounts of all the transactions involving that amount. Order of the result does not matter. So here are few records in the users and the transactions table. So if we look at it, right? So for example, account ID 900,001. So here we have three different transactions. So 7,000 plus 7,000 minus 3,000, right? So it is going to be 11,000 and 900,001 belongs to Alice. So Alice should be in the output. Similarly for 900,002, it is only one amount and it is not greater than 10,000. So it should not be in our output. For 900,003, 6,000 plus 6,000 is 12 plus minus 4 is 8, which is less than 10,000. So this should also be not be in the output. So the only person that should be in the output is Alice and the total balance is 11,000. And that is what we have. We have already learned in this series earlier as well as in the SQL 50 that whenever such kind of questions arise where you need one column from table 1 and another column name from table 2, the first thing that we should do is we should try to join these. And then what we can do is we can group by the account and the name and calculate the sum right so what we can do is from this table called transaction let's alias this as t let us left join you can also do the inner join i am preferring to do the left join part left join users u on t dot account is equal to u dot account okay another thing i just wanted to share here is that instead of writing these things right so on t dot account u dot account if the name of the column is same in both the tables you can shorten this thing up to write using right using and within parentheses the name of the column that we're trying to join on but remember one caveat that the name of the column should be same in both the tables then only this will work otherwise it won't okay so using this thing Let's keep all the columns from the transaction table. So select t dot star and then we are only concerned about the names because we ne need names in our output. So u dot name. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. Let me drag it to the left so that it is easier for us to view. And if I look at our output, so here for every transactions, we also have the name of the person who holds this account. Then what we can do is we can group by the account first and then name. Remember, even though this question says there will be no two users having the same name in the table. So you can directly go ahead and group by name. But in general sense, just you think about it in real world, it is highly possible that two people can have same name and obviously their account numbers will be different, right? So it is always a good practice to group by something unique first. So group by the account number, right? So account is coming from the transactions table to so T dot account and then T dot name. So that is going to give you okay account and name. In our output, we only need the name of the person. So we need the name. So we need okay in our output return the name. And then if you sum this amount column for every account, that is going to give you the balance. So if we go ahead and do sum of amount, amount is coming from the transactions table. So t dot amount and let's alias this as balance 
okay this is not yet complete but let me go ahead and run this let's see okay so if you look at our output we have for every person alice bob and charlie what is the total balance at the end but the question asks us to have only those names and balance of users where the balance is higher than 10000 that is we need to filter based on an aggregate we need to filter based on some of the total amount that is balance should be greater than 10000 Re you remember what we need to use in this case having so having the sum of t dot amount so t dot amount is greater than 10000 we are only required to keep those rows now if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay. so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question but what we need to do is firstly since we need the name of the person in the output so we join the transactions table with the user so that we can get the name and then we first time use the using clause instead of on it is basically doing the same thing but we need to make sure that the name of the column that we are joining in from both the tables is exactly the same and then we group by the account and name and return the name and got the total balance by summing the amount column and then we only kept those rows where the total balance is greater than 10,000. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.